Hello everyone and welcome to GoForms. I'm Emily from the customer success team and I will be your webinar host. Now, today we'll cover how to get started with your GoForms account, including navigating the GoForms platform, how to create your first digital form template, automating daily tasks and workflows, and a few best practices for optimizing your GoForms experience. So if everyone's ready, let's dive in. Now, Getting started with GoForms is incredibly easy, and it begins with creating your first form template. Think of a template as a master version of your digitized document, and every copy you generate and fill out is called a form. A template is where you define the layout, fields, and behavior of your document. A form is an individual instance of that template that a user can then fill out and complete as many times as needed. You can create your own form template in our drag and drop form builder, allowing form creators the ability to create mobile forms that look exactly like their existing paper forms. Or you can create an entirely new form from scratch, no code required. So let's go ahead and log into our GoForms account to get started creating our first template. Note that templates must be created from the GoForms web app so be sure to log into your account from a computer. Now that we've logged in, let's get to know the GoForms platform. First, to access your profile, permissions, and other settings, click the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. In the Forms tab, located in the navigation bar, you'll find all your completed forms and drafts. Now, if you're just getting started, you might not see anything in this tab until you've generated your first template and filled out a form. The Templates tab is where you'll find all your form templates, as well as starter templates. This is a collection of free forms included in each account. You can access these at any time and modify them as you see fit. This tab is also where you can create a new template and organize templates within folders. We'll explore additional areas of the GoForms platform in this webinar, but for now, let's get started building our first digital form template. To create your first form template, navigate to the Templates tab and click Create. You will be prompted to select a view for your form, list view or form view. Form view is a traditional view of your document designed to look just like your existing work documents. This view is great for maintaining critical branding or formatting, as well as onboarding new users with a familiar interface. You will need a PDF or JPEG of your form to continue your form in this view. You can also build your form in list view, which is an app-like display of your form fields that can be built entirely from scratch with no existing form required. This view is great if you don't already have an existing form or as an alternative small screen optimized viewing mode, perfect for smaller devices like phones. Both views can be configured for your form, allowing users to easily toggle between viewing modes while filling out a form on their device. For this example, we'll start by creating a template in the traditional form view. When we land in the template editor, we'll be prompted to upload or drag and drop a PDF or JPEG of our existing form. Once our form is loaded, we can begin adding our smart digital fields. As you can see, there are a variety of fields shown on the left-hand side of your screen that you can add to your digital form, including text, image, signature fields, and much more. You can drag and drop those template fields onto your digital forms and adjust their size and location. If you need to delete a field, simply select one or multiple fields and click delete. Make sure to also find the field name in the template fields section on the bottom left hand side of your screen to delete it permanently from your document. When you're using list view, you can also drag and drop fields onto your form and organize those fields within tabs and sections. You might have noticed that when we selected a form field, the properties panel appeared on the right hand side of the template editor. In the properties section, you can adjust a variety of your field's unique properties, including visual properties like their background color or font color, 
behavioral properties, like whether a field should be required or hidden, add drop-down menu items, standardize how a date is displayed, and many other actions. These properties can even be made dynamic using simple logic, allowing fields to dynamically become required, change color, become visible or hidden, and more based on field selections or data entered into corresponding fields. For example, let's say you wanted to ensure that a signature field was captured prior to a form being completed. First, you would drag and drop the signature field onto your digital form. Then, with that field still selected, you would navigate to the Properties panel, click the required property, and select Yes. You could even configure your signature fields to only become required if a specific checkbox is selected by adding this simple syntax. We can use an if statement here, which states that if the final checkbox is checked yes, then the required field is true, and if the checkbox is not checked, then the field is not required. You can find this and many other helpful formulas in our calculations guide. Finally, to configure your template, export settings, view relevant workflows, access custom actions, and more, you can select the gear icon above your form template. Here, you can also configure automated actions like form sharing, which we'll touch on later in this webinar. Once you're satisfied with your form template, be sure to save and preview before publishing. Previewing the form allows you to test the logic and fields within your form before publishing changes to your form template. Since everything looks great, we'll go ahead and click Publish. Now we can fill out our very first form using the template we just created. Forms can be filled out either from a mobile device using the GoForms app or online. For today's webinar, we'll focus on the GoForms mobile app before touching briefly on our online experience. First, let's log in and get to know the GoForms mobile app. Once you log in, you'll land in the app's forms tab. Here you can view and open drafted and completed forms. If you're new to GoForms, you may not see anything in this tab just yet. Let's head back to our menu bar and select settings. Here, you can view your device and app details, update your profile, and sync your app to ensure your device has the most up-to-date forms and data. Finally, the Recents tab is where you can view recent form activity. All right, now that we've familiarized ourselves with GoForms mobile app, let's go ahead and fill out our first digital form. To do so, click New from the menu bar. Today, we'll generate a form using the work order template we just created. Our form will load in form view, but we can easily toggle between our form view and list view from the menu bar. For now, we'll fill out our form in form view. You'll also notice our work order number, the date, and the technician's details have been automatically populated when we generated our form based on our user information. I'll get started filling out our work order details by selecting the company name from a drop-down menu, which will instantly populate the business address and contact information within the appropriate fields. This information is pulled from a connected data source, improving the accuracy of our form data and eliminating the need for redundant data entry. Once we enter information into the reported problems field, we can move on to filling out the parts used in labor details from our project. We'll enter a variety of information and then move on to the quantities and unit prices. You'll notice our form will instantly populate the total cost of expenses once we enter our rate and hour fields. This is an incredibly powerful feature, eliminating the need for manual math, which often results in inaccurate totals and miscommunication. Plus, it allows us to complete our form that much faster. Once we're at the image field, we will upload an image to provide visual context for the form creator. This field is especially useful for those who are performing work where visual context is crucial to day-to-day -day activities. For example, if you're a construction worker and need to provide your back office team with a visual representation of the work conducted that day in your daily field report, this feature would be extremely helpful for you and your operation. Now that we've filled out our form, we'll click Complete. 
However, there is a signature field at the bottom of the form which we forgot to fill out. When I try to submit this form without completing that portion, an error message pops up in the window. That's because when we were building our form template earlier, we made this a required field. So let's add our signature and resubmit our form. And just like that, our first digital form has been completed. Now, in the Forms tab, you'll see one completed form, which you can reopen as a draft by clicking into the form and selecting Reopen. Now that our form is completed, GoForms can fire a variety of automations, like routing a copy of our completed form to a customer or a teammate, uploading our form to a connected application, like Salesforce or Google Workspace, and much more. But before we explore GoForms beyond the form, Let's take a quick peek at our online experience. In the GoForms web app, you can generate a new form by navigating to the Forms tab and clicking New. Then, find the template you'd like to generate a form from. A new blank form will load, which you can fill out and submit directly from your computer. Using our Public Forms feature, you can also share links to your forms with others outside of your GoForms account, like customers, patients, and job applicants for them to fill out and submit from anywhere. Public forms significantly simplify the collection of data from third-party users. Rather than waiting for clients, students, or coworkers to turn in a piece of paper, outside users can input data, like signatures, into pre-filled forms to streamline the collection of critical information. With public forms, you can even control what form fields third-party users can edit as well as add expiration dates to control how long forms are available for users to edit. The best part is every GoForms account comes with 25 free public form credits, allowing you and your operation the opportunity to try it out free of charge. Now, there's so much to GoForms beyond the form. One of the many benefits of using mobile forms to capture your critical business data is the ability to route collected information to other people and platforms in real time. Once completed, your digital forms can be instantly emailed to customers as PDFs, transferred to colleagues, uploaded to your CRM, tagged for record keeping, and a variety of other actions using automated workflows. Automated workflows are repeatable business processes, referred to as actions, that occur as a result of a predetermined trigger. For example, if a sales representative were to complete an invoice, a PDF copy of the invoice could be instantly sent to a customer email address that was provided within that very invoice. In this example, the trigger would be the sales representative completing a mobile invoice, and the action would be the PDF emailed to the customer. Another valuable aspect of the GoForms platform is the ability to connect your GoForms account to other business applications and enrich your system with real-time data. By leveraging our collection of existing integrations or using the GoForms API to build your own, you can establish a constant current of real-time data while also eliminating manual rekeying of data and increasing productivity. Using GoForms reports, your business can run comprehensive reports across your entire data collection to garner actionable insights and identify trends, opportunities, and obstacles in real time. These reports are customizable and can be scheduled to be regularly delivered to your inbox with automated workflows or uploaded to integrated platforms. Most importantly, GoForms reports are dynamic. As your data collection grows, your reports will adjust accordingly to include new information. It has been such a pleasure to speak with you all today. I hope we addressed some of the questions you have about the GoForms platform. GoForms also has a professional services team that can help you with your templates, workflows, and custom integrations. They can facilitate the whole process, saving you and your staff valuable time so that you can focus on your business. For those of you who just have one-off questions or need clarification on a specific issue, you can chat with our support team by clicking on the chat bubble on the lower right-hand side of your platform. Lastly, GoForms offers a free 14-day trial of the advanced edition of our software. 
Now that you know how easy it is to get started, I encourage you to sign up today and try these features out for yourself. Thank you so much for joining us and have a great rest of your day.